time though. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel finally is the channel that keeps you fresh and updated on Spotlight Stories events, gist, pre and post match reactions and of course in depth match analysis. Don't forget we are also sharing their platforms on Facebook Final Issue 91, on TikTok Final Issue 91, on Twitter and as X Final Issue 91, of course our YouTube page Final Issue 91 will give you the full version of our stories. Don't just watch our videos, want you to like, share and drop your comment in the comment section and make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. And today we have a sweet news, you understand, I think Nigeria will deserve a bit of a good news uh, after all the Nigeria Libya fiasco and I think this is a good one to put a smile on you guys face and we have a good news I'm telling you this is relating to one of our Nigerian Super Eagles player should I say Super Eagles player is it a current one or should I say an ex Super Eagles player but this thing they give me joy because uh this is what I'll be talking about and uh, we want to see this kind of development happening to Nigerian football because uh like I said Nigerian football is more than the players actually playing that trade in Europe it has to cut across the MPFL and this is a good news on both fronts the Nigerian Super Eagles and the MPFL like I said I will recall this player and this now one senior man but before I talk anything make a show now this video is Watch this video. Yes, yes, guys. When I see that go, when I know the person who scored that go, uh, let me boss on above. But that is. Uh, one of a hell of a goal from our legendary striker Brown Ideye. That's six years old, and we should like that six years old. That's six young old, and he's still going strong. And we have the good news regarding that, as he's set to sign one of the MPFL club in Nigeria. This is a good news. Like I said, you know, this is synonymous to Brazilian players, Brazilian legends. You understand, going back to their country after their journey in Europe. You understand, we have seen the likes of Ronaldinho do it. We have seen the likes of uh. uh Many other players doing it. Thiago Silva of recent doing it. You understand? And there they actually start their career from, and we don't see them. They go back, and this is the good news because you don't join the list of illustrious Nigerian players to actually do it after playing uh, in Europe in the top most league. You have seen Ahmed Musa currently doing it now. Ahmed Musa has four goal contributions in the MPFL this season. Don't win two penalty. Imagine I ain't played the two penalty. That's six goals in Kano Pillars. Ahmed Musa no talks it because he don't be senior man play for Europe before. He don't remember how so you know forget how as he has remember his grassroots and his back playing. What of Abdullah Shehu? When I know Abdullah Shehu now represented the Super Eagles, tell him there's nothing you can tell Abdullah Shehu about international football that he has not done. And now he is back in Kano Pillars. Ahmed Musa too is doing his thing in Kano Pillars. And now we have a big name, Brown Ideyed. If you see that go. How many strikers have you scored now as we, as we get for Spike? So, this is a big, big thing. I say, make a game now, guys. This guy don't they train you know, with Rivers United. I know the coach of Rivers United, George Finidi. You understand? One of our man who talk about that one. You understand? But uh, whether we like it or not, George Finidi is the top nine team, the top MPFL. You understand? Uh, and it's a good one to note that uh, our ex players are actually doing us well to you understand, to actually uplift the MPFL. You understand? This is a good news because it will actually uh, give us uh, the spotlight. If we look at what Brazil are doing and developing their league, so that they can actually export players. We have seen the likes of Estavio, we have seen the likes of Hendrik, you understand, where they get players from, from the league, you understand. So if senior men, they actually go back, you actually ginger the young guys to actually put in more effort. And Brown Ide is on the list of Rivers United. He has been training with them for a couple of uh, weeks now, and they are looking into signing him. And uh, before I go further, would Finidi come out to talk something? And he's, in his word, he said, there is every likelihood that he will join us. He wants to give back. That's the most important thing Finidi said. He has that hunger. We have seen Ahmed Musa, and if he's willing to do that, I think we will welcome him. Yes, like I said, Brown, he done actually train with Rivers United for a couple of weeks now. And the kind of effort they actually put for training don't make Rivers United they look say okay when they actually sign up on a short term basis. And like I said, it's a welcoming news. I give you a typical example of Thiago Silva returning back home. You know, I have given you an example of Ronaldinho returning back home, and it's a good news. And I give you a more recent one, Ahmed Musa. Still not up to his 30s, trying straight in Kano Pillars. Who does that? That is humility on all aspects, if you ask me. And I think football is should be respected, whether you're playing in Europe or not. And no, no, don't grade the MPFL because now there they actually they play before the European boys can't actually carry them. So it's nice to know. Instead of sitting at home, why don't you play football? Make I not just talk some kind of thing. I they expect Yan and Chomi to come back home because Sevilla way they know the score goal. So why don't you just come home and come and actually play this football? I know saying that this guy needs AY for like you understand that time when they thought Simon Smith come play for lobby stars. Uh, regardless, I think this is a welcoming news and like I said, it's a journeyman, proper journeyman. If you want to talk about hero, there's nothing you can tell brand 
because he was part of the winning 2013 AFCON winners, if I want to lie to you. He has been to several World Cups in Nigeria. That time, if you remember your iconic hairstyle, more people will tell you with him, Mohawk, that time, for set out here, when they always die, in they always wear number eight for Nigeria. And I seen this one, I'm good, you know, I make a bring you, I make a sweet, you know, say. And this player don't actually give back to the clubs that actually established them in the first place. So, like I said, he's a proper journeyman with over 418 senior appearances, club side appearances, uh, 150 goals, 49 assists, you understand? And just to show you that, say, this guy don't actually draw him all. Like I said, he's more of a center forward, left finger, right finger, second striker. Believe me, this guy don't do a bit, you know. He don't play for the likes of Dynamo Kiev, Olympiacos, New Chetel, Xamax, FC Schaus, Godzepe, West Brom Albion, Ariso Alanke, TJ Tada in China, Malaga, in Spain, where's the one at 21? This guy don't ball, oh. CCV, Matt CV, and I think this is the one uh, Rivers United want to welcome. And like I said, uh, it's a good note uh, for all these players to actually return them instead of sitting on the bench in uh, Europe. I think uh, once you are 30, 31, why don't you do your country the service of returning home? But so I've seen the Brazilian players doing it, the Spanish players doing it. We, we have seen Spanish players go as far as League 2. Go the represent Spanish team just to bring them back to promotion. So why can't we do the same? Let us try and promote the MPFL. And I say that this is a news I should bring to you. And let me quickly remind you of the headline again. Former super ego striker Brown Idea, who has played in the Premier League in England, is set to join table topping Rivers United in the MPFL. Club official said, Super Ego stars Ahmed Musa and Sheikh Abdullah have rejoined former MPFL club Canopilas after their sojourn in Europe, while several former international like Spinidi George. Imani Amoniki and the Lamukati are now in charge of top local clubs. He there will feature for West Brom album in the Premier League eight years ago and has also played in the top league, like I said, France, Ukraine, Greece, and Switzerland is in line to join the bandwagon. Earlier this week, he there was spotted in training with Rivers United. Rivers United coach Finidi has now said the experienced striker is likely to sign for the Porta Court side. This is a welcome news, like I said, Brian there. I believe you. You can't go away school for training, so I'm not sure say anybody will feel less your shoes. So go to Rivers United and teach these youngins how it is done with your advice, with your style of play. And I believe, say, you will actually do us proud. And we will not forget, say, even the MPFL, our former players, our Bunge legend, the likes of Finidi, George Amokachi, done the coach for that place. That is to tell you, say, that they try to improve the league. This is a news that is worth reporting and that is what i'm bringing to you and that is all for me on this production don't forget to like share subscribe and of course social media platform follow us on every every as we don't do instagram now we don't do twitter now really they call x we don't do tiktok and of course our youtube page final with tonight and we'll give you the full version of our stories see you guys